Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today we're watching Haikyuu episode 13 today. Kyo's feeling lazy and cozy today, so don't judge her. I remember last week kind of ending off with like a little bit of romance. And it seems like it's gonna go into like Ryu's past with that girl, so I'm pretty interested in seeing that. I don't know. And I want, I actually want it to develop. Like it doesn't, I'm not saying like, <laughs> don't turn Haikyuu into a romance anime. I'm just saying like, I would like to see some development for him because you know, it's different. I feel like he, one of those side characters, being one of those side characters that were always like, ah, about girls and oh my god, like freaking out over girls. To see him actually get some is very interesting, so <laughs> I'm hyped to see how this plays out. Yeah, anyways, let's just jump right into the episode. You hear your voice? He's trying to freaking diss this tall girl and does he hear himself? That's like literally what I meant. It's just... Please don't waste it. <laughs> I've just been born. <laughs> Is that like the first seemingly black person you see on right there? Oh, she's so intimidating. <laughs> so are you telling me that their team, Kalisun was gonna beat that team? Like, I need to see this. Facts. <laughs> they're already passed. He's like, yo, we're gonna get to play both awesome teams. You're already assuming that he's gonna beat this one. Like, <laughs> The level of not caring that Kageyama just had. Oh. <laughs> Mentally deaf. Oh, is the girl gonna show up? Ah! <laughs> you got 
got this. Stop. <laughs> Guys, come on. If she gets cut off, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> Wait, does she not like him? No, but did he? Was he actually gonna turn her down? Did she, so she heard that? Did she hear that? Disappointment is so high. Like, what do you mean? Okay, I'm not saying he has to accept her love just because she happens to like him. Like, I'm not saying that, but I'm actually still surprised he didn't even kind of look into it or give it a chance or like talk to her, get to know her. He knows her, but like, you know, attempt to see if he maybe could feel that way about her. He's always getting rejected by the other girl, anyways. But no, he just straight up turned her down. Like, what? You're joking, I did not. His twin was invited to the camp though. Whatever, I guess they don't have to be the same in terms of ability, but why is the twin? They give him a different hair color, but their hair is like the same, just like opposite. Wow, he has a twin. I feel like people would come to them because they have like this, this thing that people are eyeing about them anyways. I mean, there's that too. I'm not saying she should give up, but like, I'm surprised he would just, you know? I guess. Let's practice. Practice makes perfect. Oh my gosh, his face is like a magnet. You can tell they look they look different, like Andre. <laughs> yeah, they're so orange.
he has like he's awesome on the field and he has a lot of likability I guess. This game looks like it's gonna be pretty interesting, honestly. <sighs> They're so damn bougie, like, look how extra they are. Oh my god, they look like they work so well together. He's so quiet, the other guy. They have different personalities. How are they gonna end this episode? I'm like super nervous. Oh my god, why you look like that? Ah! <laughs> oh, stop! No, he did not just stop the marching band. Scare me though, I actually hate the idea of like balls getting like thrown at me. I was not expecting that personality from him. I mean, I, I should have because they always showed him kind of go dark, but I always thought it was like not exactly dark, dark, or always like, I didn't think it was mean though. Like, I, I've seen expressions on him. Initially, I thought he was mean, but then after, I felt like, oh, he's not actually because like he's giving pointers and he's talking and he smiles. I, I started to kind of think he was like, just chill, but he kind of bit cocky, you know what I'm saying? But he's like mean. He can. Okay, he get... did you did you see the look he gave those girls? And then he was like squealing pigs. Like don't interrupt me again. Like, and how? Bro, I'm actually shook. <laughs> I'm actually shook. He's like creepy. He's like, he's we. Oh my god. I, but I get it though, it seems like he can't be interrupted with noise during his serves, but like I didn't expect I didn't I, I didn't expect that, okay? Holy shit. He's a lot heavier than I expected.
That's what I said last week, yo. You finally spoke. That's what I said when we spoke before, too. Sorry. That's what I said last time. Like, I swear, Kat Single experiments on their teens. Like, no, you gotta watch out for him, too. Like, he's a little psycho. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. I love the visuals when they do that stuff. No, but. You forgot to hit, like, but I get it. I feel like honestly, when you do the jump and you focus on the jump, you're like, oh damn, that was that was like really good. That was a good jump, and then you're like, oh damn, I forgot to do the swing, you know? <laughs> oh my god, wow. So I, I'm so, I'm so shocked. Like he was so much heavier than I expected. Like I didn't realize he got like that. <sighs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. So the series just keeps coming with the really interesting matches, the really interesting characters. And I've mentioned this before, I really like how the characters are their enemies, but they're not actually like asses. Um, this team that Katasuna is against now, like I said, was the name Asuma? Sorry, anyways, the like, the, the main setter guy. He, he just showed me a whole different personality. Well, it's funny. He kind of showed me the personality I expected him to have, but thought maybe he didn't have, but turns out he does have it, you know what I'm saying? So he just revealed that, but yeah, he still doesn't seem like, like, he still doesn't seem like an ass. Like, I still feel like he has some sportsmanship. Just the way he kind of was with Kageyama, he kind of, they started off a little bit rough, but he seems rough. But then after, it seems like they kind of got back to a, a good wavelength, so it's like, he's not just ass. He's not ass everywhere. <laughs> he like, he just gets really intense, it seems, during his matches. It's like, it has to really be a certain way, or like, he just, no. So the girl screaming, he was just like, bitch, shut up. And it was just like, but he was just so like about it. It was just very like, oh, damn, okay. Like, you feel like he hates you. Like, <laughs> you literally feel like he hates you. The way he said to shut up and stuff, like, gosh, he hates me now. <laughs> like, it's terrible. Squealing pigs. Squealing pigs is what he said in his head. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he, he's something. Um, I want to I want to get to see more of his twins personality. I, wanna, I mean, he seems very, like, very, very chill. Like, he seems about his craft, too, but he seems very more on the down low, quieter. Um, he does have smart-ass remarks, though, and I don't know. I want to see, like, what happens when he gets a bit more heated in the game. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm really hyped for this game. Um, as we can expect, though, like, I'm assuming Karasuno's going to beat them, you know, because, like, I don't see why they would... Like, they can't have them losing now. They can't. Like, they really can't, so. So, like, I really, I'm really excited to see how they're going to pull that through because the team that they're against seems, like, extremely skilled. Like, it almost feels like if I had to, like, Katasuno skilled, but I feel like if I had to say right now between these two teams, it's like, okay, like, if Katasuno won, there's got to be some luck in there. Because Katasuno, the thing about them is that they're, like I said, they're always, like, experimenting on the court. So it's like, they're getting better in the moment so it's as if like they're lucky that they experienced whatever they needed to experience in order to actually become better on the court because like they didn't come in the game necessarily with certain skills kind of owned or at the level that they need them to be but during the game they like achieved that you know what i'm saying so it's like it's kind of like luck but at the same time it's not so anyways if i had to say they beat them it would have some of that to do with it because that other team seems well coordinated, really skilled, and just boom, boom, you know. So, anyways, I'm really excited to see this match continue on. So that'll be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much. Leave how you guys feel. Thoughts down below. No spoilers. And I will see y'all again tomorrow for My Hero Academia last episode. So thank you so much and bye.